Welcome back, everybody. Today on the Ruby Bench, we have the all new MSI Radeon RX 6600 XT Gaming X to look at. Now, let's take a deep dive on what MSI has done with the 6600 XT. The average buyer just wants to play their favorite games on their 1080p monitor, or worse yet, 1440p monitor, without having to sell another kidney to pay for it, especially in today's times. Nothing more, nothing less. Thus, the release of the all-new Radeon RX 6600 XT should be good news. One that is meant for the average Joe, an everyman GPU that does not price gouge their loyal fan base and instead makes higher-end models look overpriced by comparison. This philosophy and market segmentation is why you should not be surprised by the Radeon RX 6600 XT's relatively anemic specs. With any Radeon RX 6600 XT, you can expect to find a GPU with 2048 Steam processors, 128 TMUs, 64 ROPs, and a piddly first-gen 32 accelerators or RT cores all backstopped by 8 gigs of GDDR6 on a 128 bus and only 32 megabytes of infinity cache. This all screams 1080p gaming and it also screams value-oriented performance. Sadly, what you will not find is the value to go with the whole value-oriented philosophy. Instead of a high $200 to low $300 range card, the reference AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT has an MSRP price of a whopping 379 USD. MSI are fully aware of the sheer mind-boggling short-sightedness of AMD's pricing strategy and have done the best they can. They have boosted those itty bitty 7 nanometers Navi 23 XT cores base speed by 5% to 2064. They also have included a dual fan variant of their twin Frozer 8 custom cooling solution that is longer and wider and taller, all of which should make this card peak high, stay high, and do so while also running cool and quiet. We must admit that the MSI Radeon RX 6600 XT gives an excellent first impression. We were expecting a itty bitty Tommy Rot looking card that would be end up looking like the Ebony Pone of Try Hard 5 and the Try Hardening. Instead, we were greeted by a drop dead gorgeous card. One that seamlessly bends in understated elegance with a dash of beauty rarely seen in this corner of the market. For example, this itty bitty Navi 23 XT core may sip power but it can be on the hot end of things, if not properly cooled. Thus, the inclusion of two excellent examples of engineering, the Torx Fan 4.0 95mm fans, immediately tells you that this is going to be both a cool and low noise running card. A car that in most people's systems will run at 0.0 RPM for the majority of its lifespan. MSI has once again baked an anti-sag support system right into the card itself. If you look closely at the top of the card, you will see a metal bracket running from basically the midpoint of the card back to the IO shield. The next interesting feature MSI has implemented on their take of the Radeon 6600 XT is the rear backplate. This backplate is made of rather sturdy alloy and it covers the entirety of the PCB. More important, it wraps up around the PCB to protect it and add even more structural rigidity to this card. The next best feature of this card is that this does not light up like a Christmas tree. This is excellent to see. We generally dislike a lot of LEDs on PC components nowadays. Now, let's jump in into what everybody wants to see, and that's the gaming benchmark.
looking at how loud this car gets, we measure it to be around 39 decibels. Fairly quiet with the help of the twin Razor fans that MSI has given this car. Temperature reading of the 6600 XT is fairly great, hovering around 60 degrees Celsius in our test bench. Honestly, looking at the numbers, it is both impressive and disturbing at the same time to see all this tech and resources wasted on an RX 6600 XT. It simply is not that good of a performer for its overly inflated MSRP, and that certainly does not deserve all this tender loving care that MSI has bestowed upon it. Now, the cores being up to 30% faster than RDNA 1 or not, at the end of the day, that decent amount of shader units running at that blazing speed is not enough to overcome its asking price, nor the major negatives with the Navi 23 XT design. The first is the ray tracing count of 32 is just not enough. Yes, it is the same as Nvidia's RX 3060 Ti, but that doesn't mean much. Even at 1080p resolution, it is not enough to handle modern day ray tracing enabled games. The next one is a deal breaker for us. That is the poor 128 wide memory bus. Remember the days when AMD had the uber wide bus and made fun Nvidia for their wimpy little buses on the high end of cards? Yeah, those days are completely gone. On the positive side, the RX 6600 XT is a fuel efficient cord that does not need all that much in a way of PCIe power cables. So much so that a single 8 pin PCIe cable is good enough for covering 150 of the 160 watts of power it is rated for. Yes, in theory, MSI not upgrading to 8 plus 6 pin configuration will be the limiting factor in overclocking, but in reality, there isn't much gas left in the tank to find via manual overclocking. Thankfully, there is also room to spare on the memory side of things, and here you can at least make the bus wide enough for modern gaming, at least 1080p. To be precise, we easily hit 2250 MHz, or give or take 18 GHz effective, on our sample. Every bit helps, so yeah, you will want to manually overclock the memory if you want any semblance of actual performance for your hard earned dollars. Now let's recap, the MSI Radeon RX 6600 XT Gaming X is easily one of the most frustrating pieces of hardware we have reviewed in a long time. The aesthetics are darn near perfect for most people. Its custom cooling solution with dual fan configuration all but ensures the card will be at or near ambient noise levels. The custom cooling solution also makes sure that the card never runs hot. Yes, on the surface it is darn near perfection, but sadly at the end of the day, a GPU must be able to push pixels fast enough to justify its asking price. That is not a battle for any Navi 23 XT equipped card that can win. Bluntly stated, AMD has dictated its prices that are insanely overpriced. This has destroyed what could have been a bunch of great cards, just like the MSI card we have right here. Put it another way, beauty may only be skin deep, but ugly goes to the bone. And the Navi 23 XT core is one ugly core at its existing price point. And thus, this basically concludes the review of the 6600 XT from MSI. Thanks for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed the review. As always, please remember to hit that like button for the good old YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and join us on our Discord channel for the latest tech trends and tech. This is David from Real Hard Reviews, signing out.